here with Australian 1500 national record holder Ryan Gregson. Uh, 353. Uh, we ran 336 at Oxy. Same range. Pretty happy to be back in the game. Seems like we're turning things around again. Yeah, it's been, um, I guess, four years of injuries. So I'm just glad to be consistently up there again. Um, I was a bit far back in that race. I didn't get the best start. So I was just trying to slowly work through the last couple laps. Then I got to about 300 metres to go and I could see the lead. So I thought um, I just had a bit of an adrenaline rush and, and went for it. But um, I think Le Mans wanted the same spot at the same time. So with 200 metres to go, we're both trying to get out of like the edge of lane two to get back on the rail. And just that boost of energy too far out hurt me. And I remember the last 200 being second in behind Manzano thinking, I just hope everyone's as tired as I am because I didn't have another gear. Usually I do, but this time I didn't. But uh, it was good. Unfortunately, I blew out the six, but 3.53, that's um, it's a good time. So when you didn't run a perfect race, so it's good. Right. And where, where have you been training while you've been in, over here? Uh, Mount Laguna, yeah. not Laguna Beach. <laughs> not with Lauren Conrad and Spencer Pratt. Um, it's like an hour inland from San Diego, so uh, the Melbourne Track Club's the only group that actually goes there, but we had some uh, I guess this year, we had Hannah England come out and train with us, so um, it's getting a bit bigger and it's a great location. It's only 6,000 feet, which some people say it's a bit low, but that's at, uh, my coach Nick Bado, he likes, so you can still do the quality work at altitude. Yeah, where do you go from here? Um, I head to London, a European base tomorrow, and I'll race uh, Oslo. When they introduced the guys for, for the international mile, you know, they got to you. And I was like, I wonder what the what the Australian you know national holder thinks thinks about being in the B heat. And then I'm like, wait a minute, there's an Olympic silver medalist in the B heat too. Uh, how, how crazy is it that these fields are so stacked? It's great. Um, this helps being a Nike meet. I think every pretty much everyone who's who's with Nike has to come. So um, that A race is stronger than the Olympic final because at the Olympics you get a few dark horses who just run a good semi final and they sneak through, but the A race, that's as good as a race you'll ever see, so um, <laughs> Really? Sorry, my girlfriend just did a PB You know what I got? 936 in the steeple chase A standard, so she got a Commonwealth Games Both of us, so that's amazing Can't believe it um, Yeah, anyway, this, this B race, that's as big as any race Yeah In any meet in Europe, so if you're going to compare it to those, so like you said, Olympic silver medalist, he rose the occasion today, so... It's a big goal for the year. Big goal for the year, really, is to get to the Fifth Avenue mile and have consistent races like that. Um, in the past, I've either ran really quick or terrible, so hopefully I can figure it out a bit better. I'll be a superstar, but just consistently there and one day, hopefully, I have my day. Yeah. Inconsistency is in the world, into the world. Look at Leo Manzano. <laughs> Aw awful last week and the world winner this week. So. Hey, he must be credit to him because he must be so mentally strong to be able to um, clear it out of his head and uh, turn around like that and win and run 352. So that's why he's an Olympic silver medalist. He's very mentally strong. It's good to see him back. Hopefully, we'll see you back at the wings. Right? Yeah. Thanks.